I'd say um, I have something that I'd like to say for solutions is, is thank you, you know, for, for saving our lives and my family's life. Um, I've never heard of a program like this before. And um, coming in here four years ago, I don't know where I'd be at today. Um, I had burned every bridge um, that was out there to burn from uh, credit issues to drug addictions to evictions, and um, I couldn't make it on my own. But with the help of this program and the community partners and everybody who helps here, um, they gave me a second chance in life when no one else did, and, and now I have that chance, and, and I'm living um, healthy and, and, and safe and secure. Thank you. My name is Supervisor Bill Horn. I'm a North County Supervisor for San Diego County. I got involved with Chris uh, when he was involved with uh, opening up churches uh, during the winter time and bringing people in. Um, and we helped Chris with food and what have you. Then he got the idea of building this shelter here. Um, and we helped him go after federal funds for that, um, city funds, and then the county. We put in $150,000 for you know real hard construction. Nice thing about Solutions for Change here is their goal is not just to to warehouse these people and, and you know count them as something. They want to make them successful. Uh, and they want to help them work out of this. They, they, they're the guiding light and, and they come alongside them and it takes two months, it may take six months, it may take even longer. But if there's a willingness there for the people to change their lives, that's what we want to do. It's much cheaper for me to help these people become whole and, and experience a normal life than it is for me to scrape bodies off the street. It takes a lot of self-control, but that's kind of what Chris and his group are trying to do, help you maintain that self-control so you can, you know, be successful. Um, you know, I, I always say to everybody, the Lord doesn't make junk, and I don't care who they are. Nobody's a throwaway person. N no person is, is, should be given up on, really. I, I know they make you angry, and I know they frustrate the heck out of you when you they wind up being on probation and drop out after six or seven months. But I've been to graduations where some people take go through a cycle that takes seven years or eight years, but it's each time it gets longer and longer and it's more successful. Um, but I think part of our, our responsibility is is to be faithful to those people. You know, Chris was a former Marine, so am I. You know, Semper Fi, always faithful. I mean, we, we know what our duty is. We know what our goal has to be. And we're just not going to give up on that. Even though I have a lot of other responsibilities, I think this is one of the best things we actually do while we're in office is try to salvage a lot of these people's lives.